Welcome to Hard Hat Engineer. In this video, you'll learn the difference between low alloy steel and high alloy steel. You will also learn about common elements that are added in these steel properties and the use of these alloy steel. Let's get started. What is alloy steel? Low alloy steel and high alloy steel are classifications of alloy steels based on the amount of alloying elements present. When specific amounts of metallic and non-metallic elements are added to carbon steel, its properties are significantly altered. By adjusting the percentages of these alloying elements, we can enhance the characteristics of steel beyond those of plain carbon steel. So, alloy steels are steels that include additional elements such as chromium, nickel, molybdenum, manganese and vanadium to improve their mechanical and chemical properties. Now, let's see low alloy steel. What is low alloy steel? Low alloy steel is a type of steel where the total alloying element content is typically less than 5% by weight, though in some cases it can go up to 8%. It offers higher strength compared to plain carbon steel. It has improved resistance to corrosion, wear and fatigue. Plus, it boasts better toughness and hardenability. The most common elements added to low alloy steel are chromium, molybdenum, nickel and manganese. Low alloy steel is widely used in high pressure applications such as pressure vessels and piping systems. It is also used in structural components due to higher strength. ASTM a 335 grade P1, P5, P9, P11 are some of the most commonly used low alloy steel in oil and gas. Now what is high alloy steel? High alloy steel is defined as steel with a total alloying element content exceeding 8% by weight. It has exceptional resistance to corrosion and oxidation. It retains its strength and hardness even at both high temperatures and at cryogenic temperature. It also offers high wear resistance and durability. The key elements in high alloy steel include chromium along with nickel, molybdenum and vanadium. So, all stainless steel grades fall under this category. High alloy steel is indispensable in many industries such as stainless steels for corrosion resistant environments like chemical plants and food processing facilities, high temperature applications such as turbines and boilers. Some common stainless steel grades include 304, 316 and 410. If you want to learn more about piping material, you can check my full course. It is extremely affordable with lifetime access and comes with a 30 days no question ask money back guarantee. So don't forget to check. The link is given in the description. In concussion, the main distinction is the amount of alloying elements. Low alloy steel, less than 5 to 8% alloy content. High alloy steel, more than 8% alloy content. This classification impacts their mechanical properties, corrosion resistance and suitability for various applications. If you have any questions on the topic or want to request a video, please mention in the comment. This is the end of the video. Please like and share this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. If you have a video topic in mind, drop it in the comments below.